What's going on guys, Davis here. Welcome back to another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be the reveal of my new project car, which is off screen. I still do have the 2000 Honda Insight currently not running. I'll have a video up on that soon, as well as my 2012 370Z Nismo. But without further ado, the new addition to the channel is a 1990 NA first year Mazda Miata one owner since new and only 40,000 miles. So I found this the other day. I was test driving a 370Z actually. And while I was on the way home, I decided, you know what? Let's just go take a look at it. Cause I saw this thing on the side of the road. And sure enough, I pulled in and took some pictures, got out, um, did a walk around. And I was like, wait a minute, this thing's pretty clean. So I decided to go into just a little small shop that it was parked in and I saw the owner and I said, hey, like any chance you'd sell it? And she was like, yeah, like we're into that. Like we'd be open to the idea. And so I let's fast forward two weeks later. This is uh, the new project. So the main purpose of this car is I'm gonna make a restoration video as well as just some videos about how to maintain these, how to fix some common issues like the valve cover leaking, as well as the cam angle sensor, which both of these are leaking. Fairly common for NA Miatas, but obviously I wanna make some more content on it, as well as I'm gonna do a full interior out gutted restoration and gonna do a full engine bay detail as well. Overall, car is not bad condition, just minor wear and tear. Um, you can see the wheels are a bit pitted. I think that's just from basically it hasn't had a deep clean in a while. Side rockers are solid, no rust. Let's ignore the bird poop. So I'm gonna have to clean this up. Original hard top, these need to be replaced. I've got those on order. But tomorrow, what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna gut the entire interior, pull the carpet. I might dye it if needed. If not, I'll just throw it back in. I'll have the seat rails repainted. And like I said, I'm gonna gut the entire thing. I'll do a video on how to dry ice clean the interior to kill it with ozone. This, as we get to the backside, this you can probably already tell is one of the worst parts of the car. This thing was garage kept for 30 years but unfortunately, when the previous owner was moving down to my area, they had a storm. And one of the first nights it ever sat outside, this happened and that happened. So that is the worst part. This one's gonna be easy to pop out because I can just get in from the trunk, smack that out, and I'll just have to repaint this rear quarter. But this one is no, there's no access from the underside of the trunk. So I'll figure that out, obviously. But other than that, I mean, the car is pristine with the exception of just needing a general deep clean. And I can't believe it. It's kind of a gem. These aren't, there's not many left like this. And like I said, only 42,000 miles. And I'm happy to, uh, happy to say that I'm the new caretaker. Moving on to the engine bay. Like I said, there are some common Miata issues. As you can see, leak and valve cover. Not a big deal, I'll be taking care of that. Additionally, you can see that the cam angle sensor is leaking, so I'll have to do that as well. But other than that, it works, everything's good. It just needs a deep clean. As you can see, like, that's disgusting. When you wash that out, you're good to go. And so I'll be looking forward to making more content on this, and I'm really excited to see how it turns out in the end. Of course, the pop-ups do work, and I love the little smiley face front bumper. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I do appreciate all the support lately. If you do want to help support my channel, I'll have links to my Cash App, my Venmo, and my PayPal in the description below. And if you do have any comments or questions or anything like that, video ideas, feel free to comment those below as well. I respond to all my comments, and I look forward to seeing from you all soon. Also, I'm going to record another outro after the fact. Stay tuned, guys. I do have a huge announcement coming within the next month or so. Um, I'm really excited to kind of show you all what the, the plans are for the channel and for the cars. And I look forward to hearing what you all think.